Hey guys, Harsh here back in the video. So as you can see, I am in handheld mode right now and that is because I have to show you this Node MCU and the laptop screen as well. So in this video, I am going to show you how you can program this Node MCU ESP8266 module with the task mode of server over there so that you can easily create your home automation project and it is basically a web server made easy for you guys and there is basically no code involved in this particular operation. You can just simply turn off and on your devices remotely via the same network connection on any of your devices whether it be a laptop in this case or phone i cannot show you my phone i cannot show you the phone because currently i am recording with it so without wasting time let's get started now the first thing that we have to do is quite easy one it is just to take your micro usb cable plug it into the node mcu over here and then connect the other end to your computer or laptop Okay, so now that we have connected our Node MCU to our laptop, we can install the Tasmota application onto it. So, as you can see, I am over here, the official website of Tasmota, which is tasmota.github.io. And from here, what you have to do is just go to the web installer. It is the option right over here. And here you can see we have the option to select our version. So, as you can see, it is available in so many languages and in so many different versions as well. So for this particular case, I will be only using the normal version in English and then we have to select our device here and you can see we have ESP32 and ESP8266. So we'll select the 8266 version and then click on connect. This will open up this dialog box over and here we have to select the COM port. So it is only one showing over here, which is COM port number five. So I will just select that and click on connect. Now, as you can see, we get this error over here. So it is the case for I think every node MCU that I have seen so far. So if you don't get this error, then I think you can follow the steps for the ESP32 one as well. I have uploaded the video for that. So if you want to check that out, you can do that. I will give the link in the description box below. But if you get this error, let me just close it and let me tell you how to work this around. So what you have to do is just go to the GitHub page of the Tasmotizer. I am pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. and. Here you can see we have an exe file over here for the Tasmotizer. So this is an offline installer. So what you have to do is click on it and it will download directly to your computer. I have already downloaded. That's why I'm not downloading it any further. So I'm going to just head over to my download section and open it up. This will open up the small window. It does not require installation or anything like that. So first of all, we have to select our COM port. As you can see, it is already selected COM5 because that's the only one connected on my computer. Then we have to select the image file and I'm going to just click on the release option and then select the release option from here. And as you can see, we get the same option over here as well in different languages and with different version. And for this particular case, I'm just going to use the taskmoda.bin over here. And that's about it for the settings. You can just uh, uncheck or check these settings if you want to and just make sure that you erase before flashing. So once that done, you can just click on the taskmotize button and it will first download the bin file from the internet. It is the firmware existing on the node MCU and then write the new Tasmota to the board. So now as you can see, it says process successful. Now you can just go ahead and click on OK. And now we have to connect it to our internet. So what we have to do is just go to the send config button, this purple icon that you see over here. And here you can see we have a lot of option. We have Wi-Fi, recovery Wi-Fi and MQTT. So for this one, I'm going to just use the Wi-Fi version. And here we have to type in the SSID and password for the Wi-Fi network that you are currently using. And once you have typed in all that, you can just go ahead and click on save. Restart a device and hopefully, if you have done everything correctly, it should be connected to your internet. And after some time, you can just go ahead and click on this green button, which is the get IP option. And it will give you the IP address of the board so that you can access the task mode of main menu. So just go ahead and copy it. And then you can paste it on your browser to open up the task mode application. Now here we have to do quite a bit of modification. So as you can see, it is on so no off basic. I'm pretty sure that's not how you pronounce it, but basically it is like a version of the node MCU that it is configured for, but our node MCU is not that one. So what we have to do is just go to the configuration, go to the configure module, and then you can see we have the module type over here and you have to change it to generic 18, which is at the last. So just select that one and then click on save. As always, this will restart the device and automatically redirect you to the main menu. Now you can see we are at the generic task motor. So now when you go to the configuration and go to configure module, you can see we get all these inputs and outputs that we can play with. So 
like the ESP32 one, I am just going to blink the LED in this case. So you can just go ahead and select the GPIO2, which is D4 in this case. It is very nicely written on the side there as well. Quite nice to see that. And select it as relay. And I'm pretty sure that it is in reverse, but we will see that. So just go ahead and click on save. And once we are back in the main menu, you can see we get the toggle button. So pressing it on and off will turn on and off the LED. So now that it is set to relay inverse, as you can see the task motor is at off and the LED is off. But once I press the toggle button to on, as you can see the LED turns on. So pretty simple setup as you can see. And if the web installer worked, it would have been even easier. So that is guys, that's how you can get the node MCU program with the task motor web server and configure your home automation system or something like that. So thanks for watching the video guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it and if you have any doubts or comment regarding this video, you can comment down below and I will see you all in the next one.